Hey, welcome back to WalleyeWorkshop.com. Uh, commonly asked question is how do we tie up a spinner harness here? And uh, we, we get that question in emails, so we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, this, this is a uh, pretty much gold spinner, gold beads, uh, and a three hook harness. There's, uh, there's a great fight going on right now, it's the middle of summer up in Green Bay, and this is a very deadly uh, presentation right here. So we're going to show you how to tie these hooks and space them properly too. So let's get started. Okay, I went ahead and cut my line here. Typically I make this about five to six feet. Uh, this is a little bit shorter. It's going to be easier to show you here. Um, and also this is 17 pound test. It's not so much I'm worried about the fish breaking it from its teeth. Uh, it's so it doesn't get broke off in the net more or less. And then. Uh, because when the fish is in there, this part will get caught in the net and the fish will go like that and break your line. But 17 pound test is a good all around line to use for spinners. All right, I went ahead and put the two hooks in here. Uh, these two vices are a fly tying vise. You can purchase these through Do It Molds right on their website. It's excellent for spacing your hooks uh, precisely every time rather than uh, you tie your spinner rig up and your hooks are spaced too far apart, but this is exact. It clamps onto a, a table here and uh, works out great. Okay, the first thing we do is we take our line on the very back hook, put it through there, like that, about three quarters of an inch, tag left on the outside there, about six to seven wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did seven on that one. And you have the end of your line. See the eye of the hook? The end of your line goes right through the eye of the hook. Pull it like that. And give it a little pull like that, and then your snell is going to pull together. Now hook two, very simple, the end of the line. I can see it. And there's your spacing right there, exactly every time. Same thing, six to seven wraps. Put the end of your line right here. Through the eye of the hook. Pull that. So there's your perfect spacing. Now if you're gonna tie a third hook on there, let's hook this one right in back vise, just like you would for your back hook. Put that one in there, same thing. You don't have to tighten that that hard. You're not really pulling on the center hook. So there's your spacing. Pinch it off. One, two, three. Grab the end of your line. And always keep your finger on the hook so that snell part doesn't explode on you, basically. Okay, there you go. You have your three hook harness, and then uh, now you can put your beads and stuff on there. Very similar to exactly like this one right here. This is an excellent color to start out with, too. All gold. Exactly spaced the same. Okay, sometimes we sit around the garage in the winter time and make these things. We'll make as many as 50 to 100. And uh, a good way of storing these harnesses is the noodles that you use in the swimming pool for the kids. And, and also, rather than just wrapping them on the noodle, we always make a slice like this and always wrap it straight around the slice. It seems to hold them together better, but uh, it works great. A lot of guys probably know this already, but uh, it's pretty cheap to do this. You can make them different sizes for your tackle box. Uh, if you get a Plano tackle box that's a little thicker, uh, you can just space them in there and it works great. All right, pretty simple to tie up a crawler harness. You should check this thing out underwater. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Stay tuned.